David Patterson, one of the godfathers of computer architecture, posted on Twitter recently, the top AI model is already smarter than 85% of humans. By 2026, 99.9%. Elon Musk replied with just two words, roughly correct. India's graduate skill index shows that employability has dropped massively in 2025, largely due to AI-driven skill gaps. So the question is, how do you really build a sustainable career in the new world of AI that we live in? In this video, I'll share a detailed roadmap that I have broken down into three easy steps for you to follow. Until now, this roadmap has only been shared in the Grotex community with our 4,500 members. I am sharing this roadmap outside the community for the very first time. By the end of this video, you'll have a lot of clarity on how you should really think through your career in the new world of AI. And it all starts with your skills. We are now glad to be a part of the Zero One Media Network by Zeroda. First, let's get clear on why the market pays you money. And this is applicable whether you're an engineer, a product manager, a marketing manager, HR, finance, founder. It's simple. Businesses have problems. Say, for example, acquiring new customers, building innovative products, hiring top talent, managing the company's finances, or even building the right strategy. The closer you are to the most important business problems, the more you get rewarded. You know what's fascinating? The most important business problems are not constant. These keep changing every few years one skill suddenly becomes exponentially rewarded. Remember 2015? Flipkart, Amazon, e-commerce had just picked up and India was going through a massive digital transformation. Everyone needed engineers to build apps, websites and digital products. And what happened? Software engineering salaries exploded. Companies were literally throwing 15 to 20 lakhs of rupees for college freshers. Because here's the thing, skilled coders were rare, but Every business desperately needed them. Companies were doing anything to hire this talent. Ashneer's company Bharat Pay was even giving away BMW bikes worth 3 lakh rupees to every new joinee. But today, that demand has stabilized. The second pattern, rewind to 2020. Suddenly, the game had changed. Everyone had products, but the real problem was... How do you actually reach your customers? Enter the creator economy boom. We saw the number of influencers jump by 400% and the top creators, they were making an upwards income of about 10 crore rupees annually because they had cracked the distribution code. And now in 2025, do you know where I'm going? That's right. AI, but specifically AI integration. Companies are desperate to automate processes with AI. AI experts are commanding top salaries in the market. See the pattern here? Business demand plus rare skill sets always equals exponential rewards. The next question is, what's the next critical problem you should be solving? Let me take an example. Let's say you're a social media person, right? Who's doing a social media marketing job and your core job is to get more impressions with more social posts that you do for the company. That is the value that you're creating. Now, out of the value that you're creating, what part is actually important to the business? Out of everything that's happening because of social media, how much are you able to drive that in revenue? You did all of this, but are you able to communicate to your leadership that because of social media, we are getting an X increase in the revenue? That's value communication. And the final and the last part is the value capture, which is the salary you can command for all the value that you're doing. You understand? this four core steps. So what kind of value should you create? While there are three different people that build, sell and create systems, there are also the rare kind who can do all of this together. One such person is Bhanu Teja. He left his Swiggy's well-paying job with no safety net at home and built a profitable AI company from a small village in Kandukur in Andhra Pradesh. He's currently the founder of Site GPT, doing 14 lakhs of revenue per month. He previously founded Feather, where he successfully sold it for 2 crore rupees. He has done all of this, by the way, alone with no team. By the way, 
Bhanu is a Grothex member as well. He is a member since the last three years. And if you want to surround yourself with more ambitious people like Bhanu, people who are either building AI companies or building careers in AI, then Grothex is just the place for you. Grothex is a community of 4,500 leaders from companies like TikTok, Lovable, Meta, Google, Servam AI, Eleven Labs, and a lot more. These are people that you can trust. learn from and build with the community is not open for all so if you want to see if you are eligible you can check your eligibility with the link in the description the second factor is equally critical it's the opportunities that you choose to bet on you see the real opportunity isn't at the big fancy mnc it's at the small startups moving extremely fast trying to disrupt things for technology companies owning a part of the business is the only way to truly create wealth for yourself you should fight for esops or employee stock options and really ask for these stock options from companies that don't make you part of the wealth creation upside let me give you an example of two people kiran and krishna to show you why opportunities that you bet on matter way more than you think Kiran switches roles over a 20 year career with an average of 15% hike every year. Now Kiran works at large companies and the salary stagnates because they are part of an extremely large corporation with very little room for actually creating high value. Whereas Krishna takes a huge risk and bets on a technology startup with a tiny chance of success. They get 20 lakh rupees worth of stock options when they join. Two scenarios could play out. Scenario A: The startup gets a 20x exit or goes public, and Krishna makes a lot of money. Maybe something like how Flipkart or Swiggy, where even the employees made a lot of money. By 2014, about 400 Flipkart employees became crorepatis when the company's valuation grew eight times from 850 million dollars in 2012 to 7 billion dollars in 2014. All right, all right, I know. This is the best case scenario that we are talking about, but it could also be the other way around. Let's say in scenario B, the startup goes bust in just four years. Zero wealth creation happens from stocks; uh, they only get their salary amounts, right? Let's look at let's say a snap deal where employees saw their stock options lose ninety seven percent of value. This just shows that early equity is not always guaranteed for wealth creation. So the equity. risk is just a little too much right wrong even in scenario b where krishna didn't actually make any single rupee from the stock options they did get something far more valuable see they got way more experience building and distributing products because they worked at a small company like look at all of these people vidit athre from misho ashank from razorpay and even ankit nagori from wakefit all of these people at some point or the other worked for a startup that didn't really make majority of the wealth that they have today but have given them extremely valuable experience which has put them years ahead of their peers the opportunities that you have to bet is not just about your wealth it's also about your skill development but there's one more critical factor the third and final factor is how long do you stay in that bet see this is like an sip mutual fund the more time you are in a right bet the more you will compound as you exit your early career taking calculated bets versus random job hopping becomes critical most job hoppers will see a 20 or 30% salary increase without really understanding the compound effect of staying in the right bet for a longer period of time when krishna from a earlier example stays at that startup for multiple years even if it doesn't become a unicorn they are building exponentially valuable experience they are seeing problems that engineers and google will never see they are solving distribution challenges that pms at microsoft will never face this deep experience compounds one year at the right startup is equal to 3 to 4 years worth of learning at a large corporation but here's the key you need to be strategic about what bets to stay in you can't be random about this not every startup deserves your long term commitment you want to look for these things first 
a very strong founding team and founders with previous exits or a lot of deep domain expertise second your role should have a significant impact on the main business metrics this is super core by the way and third is that your learning month over month your learning isn't stagnated if all three are there you should 100% stay if it's just one out of three you should probably consider moving if this video helped you think a little differently about your career we've also made a very detailed notion doc about careers you can check the free resource in the description below i'll see you in the next video until then keep building keep distributing and most importantly keep betting on yourself